2023 has been a really good year for gaming so far. We've seen so many amazing games coming out, not to mention new GPUs as well. Nvidia brought DLSS 3.0, and now the company has released a new version of their upscaling technology, DLSS 3.5. However, AMD has not brought any newer version of their upscaling technology with the new RX 7000 series GPU, but recently at Gamescom 2023, they've just unveiled their most anticipated FSR 3.0 with a handful of updates as well as the frame generation alternative of their own, but can it actually compete against the DLSS 3.5? Let's find out. Now AMD just like the FSR 2.0, the FSR 3.0 is going to be an open-source technology, which means a wide range of GPUs, including other brands such as Nvidia's graphics cards, will also gain access to this upscaling technology. Unlike a few supported games like Nvidia, AMD just announced that the FSR 3.0 is going to be supported by all the DX11 and DX12 games, and they also showed exclusive gameplay footage of Forspoke, which exhibits significant performance improvements. The video, on the other hand, only brought a list of three games that are going to be supported by DLS 3.5 for now, although we believe more games will be put to work later. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty Alan Wake 2 and Portal with RTX are the only games that are going to take advantage of this new upscaling technology. However, Nvidia also confirmed that DLSS says 3.5 is not exclusive to the RTX 40 series. All the RTX series GPUs are going to have access to the DLSS 3.5, and only the new frame generation tech is exclusive to the 40 serial card. Although both DLSS and FSR are pretty much similar technologies, they operate in different ways. DLSS is a hardware-based upscaling technology that's exclusively available on RTX cards. On the other hand, FSR is software-based, meaning not just AMD but other graphics cards, including Nvidia's GPU, can run this upscaling technology. So obviously, if you think about the performance, AMD's FSR 3.0 will not be as powerful as Nvidia's latest DLSS 3.5 because Nvidia's hardware on the 40 series cards is simply more powerful than the AMD RX 7000 series GPU. However, the latest FSR 3.0 will enable fluid motion frames which is pretty similar to DLSS frame generation technology. If they successfully manage to pull it out, then it could be a major turn of events for AMD, for sure. As for the release date, DLSS 3.5 is coming out on September 26, along with the release of Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. FSR 3.0, on the other hand, was previously rumored to be around with the release of Starfield, which is Bethesda's upcoming biggest open-world action RPG game. But AMD has confirmed in the recent announcement that the FSR 3.0 is not come out until the Q1 of 2024. In the end, even if the FSR 3.0 manages to give higher frame rate views similar to Nvidia's DLS 3.5, it does not seem to have the potential to beat it completely. But we do hope that AMD's FSR 3.0 turns out to be as good as they mentioned because a wide range of gamers will be able to take advantage of this new upscaling technology. So that is our video. We'll be back with more when there is more left to discuss catching you guys in our next video.